Okay, freaks, only for you would I do something like this. I seen a field that hadn't been cut all year. The sidewalk was overgrown, so I decided to pull onto it and make a quick video. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty crazy. I'm pretty freaky. I'm pretty geeky. But here we go. First thing you gotta do is cut some of it so you can see what you're working with and then blow off all that mess. I could tell the sidewalk was all jacked up, hadn't been edged in a long time. So I wanted to give you guys a quick little show of how you can trim, how you can edge a sidewalk with just a trimmer. Alright, if I ever get it started here, things be okay. So when you get a situation like this, um, I wouldn't suggest taking it all the way back to the groove the first visit. Unless they're going to be a weekly yard, there's really no, there's no um, sense in getting the groove the first time because it hasn't been taken care of in seven years or something. What does it matter? One, one or two more weeks, you know? So you're going to have to just find a distance that you can handle because remember the dirt, like I'm just cutting off the dirt right there, is going to be more thin towards the middle of the sidewalk and thicker as you get towards the real edge. So you'll have to go just back and forth and then go back out on the sidewalk and 45 degree just kind of scrape the dirt off with the, the trimmer. So just, just find a find an area that the trimmer will cut through and keep a straight line and just keep working it back from there. So I am using a steel FS70 trimmer which is not a very high powered one at all. It's actually the closest thing that they would have to a homeowner's model. It's flexi cable driven which is what all the homeowner models that you would get at like the big box stores, Home Depot or Lowe's. That stuff is flexi cable too. So um, if I can do it with one of these, you can do it with one of those you have there because I've done stuff with like yard man trimmers and stuff like that before. It's all about just going back and forth, back and forth, taking a little bit more off, getting cutting through the dirt pretty much, and um, keeping it you know straight line. If you take if you gouge in a little bit too far, then you're going to have to just take a little bit more off and um, all the way down the line and even it out. So you. It'd be good to go pull up someplace like I did in practice, you know. And <laughs> yeah, don't be scared, man. Just pull up and trim somebody's yard. And... No, but seriously, you do need to be aware when you're trimming of rock and debris, grass, whatever, everything that's flipping off of your trimmer here. You need to be aware which way it's going. So mine, when I go up, like right now, it's flipping towards the camera. And right here, when I'm coming down the sidewalk this way, it's flipping away from the camera. So you, you're going to want to make sure you, you know, you're not flinging stuff towards a car or a window or anything that it's going to mess up. Now I'm turning around here, and this is actually shooting it towards the camera. Like right now, something could fly up and hit the camera right in the lens and crack the lens. But you know, hey, I'm going to make 40 cents off this video for the year, so why not risk it plus I'm not even wearing safety glasses oh I get those comments all the time where are your safety glasses where's your hearing protection and I'm like you know you guys think I'm making something like like a hardcore instructional DVD here and I'm supposed to talk like dry eyes are red eyes okay fuddy duddies let's put on our safety glasses make sure that they are snug on your nose and up around your eyes so no debris can get in it do you really want to hear that crap or do you just want to see me go out here and trim somebody's grass that i don't know <laughs> Alright, I actually hacked a little bit too far back in one spot and I was like, man, now I gotta go back through here and take another half inch off all the way down the line. And then I realized, I ain't getting paid for this job. I'm flipping it over to the other side and gonna see what it's all about. Alright, I went down it real quick, hacked off all the long stuff, see where the dirt starts, and I went ahead 
tried to take this one back a little bit more. I'm like, I'm gonna find this group. Let's just see where it's at here. And then I go, nah, that that could be too hard. I think I'll just hold the line. Doing pretty good here. Wasn't that thick. Took it back a little ways. Oop, took a little bit too much off the end here. I better even that out, right? Turn around, flip it. See if I can bust this camera lens out. Just trimming dirt right there. Trying to get that dirt down to the... It might look like I cut a groove all the way down. But the grass is gone, but the dirt's still there. So I'm just like cutting through dirt. That's it. But here you go. I'm going to take it back a little bit more. We're going to get real bold with this one. Look at that. I took it back pretty far. I'm gonna blow this sucker off, see what we got going on. I might actually have found the edge of the sidewalk here. Where am I at? Oh, there I am. Alright, here we go. Look at all that dirt. How many times have I blown this sidewalk off already? It's a lot of crap. I've seen them to where you couldn't ride a bicycle down the middle of the sidewalk without touching grass. And if somebody would have came out and they said, oh, I got your flyer, um, and I go out and bid the yard, and they're like, yeah, you know, um, I'll take the every other week, and um, I want to cut on Fridays, and I like a good edge. And I'm like, oh, you want to cut on Fridays, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love it to look good for the weekend. Oh, so you want it to look good for this weekend, but then next weekend when I'm not supposed to be here, it's going to look like crap, so why does it matter? Sorry, but bi-weeklies are Monday and Tuesday. That's just how it is. Hey, look, I found one red scent. And when they say red scents, that is, that's a red one. It's a red scent, man. Put that in my pocket. I made a penny. I actually got paid for this job. So like I was saying, don't fall for that crap. If they say they want to cut, look good for the weekend, then they better be weekly. And if they say, oh, I love a good edge, and you look out there and it hasn't been edged in years, you say, no, you don't. If they haven't moved in that house that year, then they don't, you know, don't fall for that crap. Because what's going to happen is you're going to come out there, they're going to pay you to cut the grass the first time, and you think you got yourself a good gig, you're going to spend an extra 20 minutes edging their front sidewalk that's never been edged. And then, yeah, that's it. You're done. They're going to get rid of you. And they're going to let it grow back over. Once every blue moon, they call out a lawn guy and uh, trick him. Like, you'll get a call, like, two days after you just cut it. And they'll say, oh, hey, we decided to buy a lawnmower. We don't need you anymore. So I don't think that hasn't happened to me. So be suspicious of the people when their sidewalks are overgrown, their yards are overgrown, and they're asking for bi-weekly. Um, they don't obviously care too much about their lawn, so. Be cool when bidding those. They're cool, they're good to have around, fill the Monday, Tuesday slots, or just to add some extra money, but don't bank on them of being something that they're not gonna be. It's very, I don't think I've ever had one with, I started as a bi-weekly and it ended up a weekly. You know, I've had bi-weeklies that I ended up dropping. And my weeklies, I've never had a drop on. Whenever somebody says, um, oh yeah, I want you every week, and I pretty much just have them till they die or I die, which you never know. Someday I might drop dead in one of these lawns out here because I'm cutting grass when it's 104 degrees outside. You ain't going to stop me. If rain's not going to stop me, hey, I've actually had snow on the outside. If it does it again this year, I'm going to have it on video. But it has snowed on me when I was cutting before. 
mulching leaves and snow's coming down. Cool stuff. So I'm getting ready to blow it off again, man. Look at all that dirt. Just think of all that dirt if I would have had it all like in one big pile. You could probably scooped up a bunch of that and filled in some holes, you know? What a mess. That just goes to show you how much was on there. I knew it was overgrown, even though it wasn't like one of those super bad ones. It's still a lot. It takes some time, but you can do it. You just gotta go back and forth, back and forth. Bust out a window here. Take a nick out of a car over there. But luckily, I don't know anybody around here, so if anything would have went down, I would have just left. Like I'm doing right now. I'm blowing it all down towards that neighbor's house. And, um, you know, hey, you get what you pay for, which is uh, nothing, right? No, wait, one red cent. All right, being the true freak that I am, I can't leave without at least getting the final edge, something to it. It's just like an OCD thing with me. So we're going to go ahead and hack this up right here. Now, I'm not going to go stand in the street, so I'm going to worry that ambidextrous stuff comes in. you got to be able to do it going both ways. And I'm cutting into that sucker. There we go. Get to 45 off. Because, you know, it matters. i got to make it look really good here. Come on now. I have to impress the people when they show up to cut their field for the first time this year. They're going to be like, hey, man, what an edge. Halfway down my sidewalk. This doesn't make any sense. What kind of freak would do something like this? That's what they're thinking. I can't believe it, man. No, actually, whoever cuts it is probably going to be like, This sucks, man. This yard's three foot tall, man. They want to pay me $20 to do this. Well, there you go. I'm blowing it off again. Set that down. Let's take a look at these edges. We'll look at the street side here. Eh, I've seen better. I saw worse a while ago. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Made a difference. Now time to load up and get out of here. 